Hey folks, welcome back to our video series. In this one we're going to talk about working with pages. And this is a simple one, creating new pages. Let's just jump right into our Dreamweaver program. Talk about this just for a second here. When you create a page, you're making a duplicate of an existing page. So the cool thing is, you can create a new page based off of any existing page that comes in your template. So we have the about, contact confirm, the index page in our root folder, and then we may have additional pages uh, in the sliders folder, for example, here. Or even in the pages folder right here, we have a lot of different pages. You can create a new page based off of any existing page. And that gives you the flexibility to uh, create many different layouts that suit your needs. Now the thing you'll need to do though, is it's probably a good idea to preview each of your pages in a web browser first to sort of get an idea of what the different layouts look like. Then you can determine when you create a new page, which existing page you want to base that new page off of. For example, let's say I've run through my pages folder and I've looked through all the different folders, all the different pages, like the home three, for example, I've, I've selected it, I've gone and previewed it in a browser, right? I've taken a look at the home three and I go, oh, this is a perfect layout for the new page that I want to create because I want the, the thumbnail, I want the four boxes here and I just need some content down here in the two separate sections. That's perfect for me. So all I'd have to do in Dreamweaver is uh, open up the home three page, just like that. I click on the file, save as, and then I give the page a new name, my hyphen new hyphen page. Now you notice everything's in lowercase. I haven't used any uppercase. I have three words, but I've connected them with a hyphen. If you're going to have multiple words in the names of your files while working for the, on the web, make sure you connect those words with a hyphen or an underscore. Okay. I would suggest you be consistent if you can, right? And I'm going to just save it. It's going to create the new page and put it right into my uh, pages folder here because I haven't moved it out anywhere. Now, if you don't see it right away, just hit the refresh button. There it is. There's my new page. Now, when you create a new page and if it's created in a subfolder, just drag it out and put it into the root folder up here. That's all you have to do. Dreamweaver is going to ask you if you want to update. You go, yep, I want to update. And there you go. Now you have my new page right here. Now you notice my new page was created with .html, but the rest of the pages are .htm. You can actually set your preference in Dreamweaver of what you want your pages to be named as, or what we call the file extension for that page. Now to change that so that every new page you create is just a .htm, so it matches with the rest of them, what you can do is go to your edit, go to your preferences select document or new document and right here you see the default extension for html the default extension is set to html change that to .htm and hit ok so every new page that you create now will be created using the .htm so it's consistent with the rest of the pages in the site and if you ask yourself is there a difference between the two no there isn't it's just simpler to go with one <coughs> file extension and stick with it the reason being is when you create hyperlinks and whatnot if you're doing them manually good to know that you always go with one format over the other. So is it going to make a big difference in the long run? No, it's not. It just makes a difference if you don't link it to the correct uh, file extension. Right. So now if you're wondering, well, what if I create a new page, but I want a different header in the page? Like I like the body content of the home three page, but I want to have a different header, right? So here's the, the home three page that we were looking at, but I want something different up here. Not a problem. You can switch the headers out in the pages as well. And we cover that in a different video. So you can take the body of one page and you can mix it with the header from another page. So you get a real different, you can basically create many different looks for the pages in your website, but it keeps them all consistent with the look of the template.